Coach Burnett, OAC 2016 Junior High State Championships. Uh, this week, compared to next week, you got a lot more wrestlers. Your club's got a lot more guys in next week than this week. Just everybody does, I think. Yeah. But well, first off, congratulations on the Division One State uh, runner-up finish two years in a row Thanks. for Elyria. Yeah. Uh, you guys were runner-up to St. Ed's and uh, had a couple champs. Yeah, um, yeah. St. Ed's had a great weekend last weekend. Uh, congratulations to them. They, they did a heck of a job. Um, yeah, our guys, uh, Brendan Fenton, Ben uh, Darmstadt, and uh, Kevin Bow was a finalist. Um, they, they, they wrestled hard. Everybody wrestled hard. I mean, we got seven guys in the state tournament. Um, everybody scored points. Everybody won at least a match. And, um, you know, they, they really went after it. I mean, uh, Fenton. You know, a lot of people are asking me, you know, where this guy come from? But, you know, Fenton's, uh, Fenton's good. And, um, you know, it was good for him to go out and showcase what he can do. Um, Darmstadt, you know, he did what he does. And um, he, uh, he continued to do a great job. Um, you know, it's, it's just one of those situations where, you know, the, the kids were pretty pretty done. But Ben was hoping to be in a hunt for a team state title. And when that kind of slipped away, uh, you know, he, um, he kept it together and went after uh, Impressive, you know. Micah Price ended up being a two-time state placer. Um, Matt Zuckerman was a freshman, qualified for state, um, and won a match. And uh, Brendan Price broke his leg in the quarterfinals. I mean, you know, what do you do about that? It's just one of those things. JT Brown became a two-time state placer at 182, took fourth in the state. Um, so yeah, I mean, the, the kids went hard. They tried their best, and, and under the circumstances, it's all I could ask. Kevin Vo, what what is the injury specifically with him? Is he out through the freestyle in Greco season? Yeah, um, he decided not to get surgery before wrestling season. Um, it, he, it was recommended that he, he would have surgery in October. He decided that he wanted to wrestle, try to help the team out this year. Um, and uh, so he, he ended up uh, foregoing surgery uh, until uh, March. He's going to have surgery now, March 22nd. And uh, just did a great job for us this year. For, for, Team. Didn't have to wrestle. Oh, no, no, no. As, as a matter of fact, wasn't going to initially, but then um, when some of the kids talked to him and talked to me, and I went and talked to the family, I said, hey, you know, what do you think? And he's like, hey, if you don't help the team, I can put this surgery off, and, uh, and then uh, I'll deal with that uh, later on. So, yeah, he, no, he, he, yeah, he wrestled so he could help his team. You guys probably aren't running up without him. No, no. You I, don't get a team trophy. Right. So that that's kind of huge. Yeah. No. I mean, Kevin. Kevin was huge. You know, and, and that's um, that's a testament to him and his family. Looking at this tournament, OAC. Um, you know, you look at some of the greats who've gone through this tournament. The Palmer brothers. You know, obviously the Steber brothers. Um, all the Monroeville guys. It, it, it's an amazing, amazing tournament. Um, your son's in for third and fourth. What do you think about the depth of this tournament, the OAC, and you know, at the both the grade school level and the junior high? It's, it's interesting to have no divisions. Um, you know, there's no division one, two, and three. You know, whoever comes in here, you know, you, you're, you're going to wrestle. You know, you're you're going to wrestle everybody. You know, and that's uh, you, you got to the old cliche. You know, you want to be be the best, you got to beat the best, and that's how it is here. The depth of this tournament is amazing. So, you know. There are lessons to be learned. They're all, all the way, you know, what we do as coaches, we're, we're trying to we're trying to help kids realize some of the lessons. You know, whether you didn't uh, wrestle a full match, or you, you, you know, you stopped wrestling with 10 seconds left, or you know, whatever it was that cost you, you know, a match. You know, let's try to make sure that doesn't happen again. You know, as a wrestler, I tried not to make the same mistake twice. Um, I'm sure I did every now and again. But you know, as coaches, it's we're trying to help these kids. They want to win so badly that. When they don't, it's, you try to point it out, boom, right here. Okay, you made this mistake, let's try not to do that again. It's a learning process. Everything's a process. And this, this tournament, this tournament magnifies it. You know, it magnifies what you need to work on and, and also what you're already good at. How many kids in for placement here? And how many kids, how many did you start with? And how many in for placement? Oh, um, I don't know. I, I never know it. You don't do that. You're not a logistics guy. No, no. I have a sheet of paper here that my wife made up for me uh, that had uh, for, us, for me and our coaches that had all the guys that are in our club that are signed up under our club. And then we, we tried to catch the ones who needed coaches. I've yet to go through and look at um, you know who's still in and who's not. Uh, 
Um, so I'll know that tonight. Like when I get home, I'll go back through everything and I'll take a look at it. But our guys have done a good job. They've learned a lot. I mean, that's the big thing. They're, they're, they're learning so much that they can use these uh, couple of days down here, and that's what you're here to do. The kids want to win, but they get, they get, they got to, it's a process. They got to keep learning. Looking at winning and losing versus learning, what's more important to you and why? To me, learning. To them, winning. Uh, I, for me, obviously, you know, as, as, as a coach, I can, I can look at what's going right, what's going wrong. We can continue to try to develop the wrestler, uh, fix the problems, uh, make, take his good things and make those better. Um, the kids will say, hands down, winning. That's what they wanted. Next week, a bunch of your club guys are vying for NCAA titles. You know, what do you say to your club guys when they come back? You know, looking at guys, you, you know, if you couldn't, could call or text all of them, what would you say to them right now, all your club guys? Them, right, right now? Yeah. I would say come back and show me some new moves. Come back and show some moves? Yeah, I love, when our college guys are, when they go away to college and they learn all this other, all this cool stuff, you know, and then they, a lot of them are cool enough to come back and show me and show some of our, our, our club kids and our campers, you know, so, but as far as getting ready for the NCAA tournament, I, I would imagine I'm saying what their coaches are telling them. Take one match at a time, don't overlook anybody, don't worry about the guy you can see in the semifinals. You know, refine your technique, eat right, live right, sleep right, do everything right, you know, leave no stone unturned. Make sure you've done everything you can possibly do to, to try to realize your, your, your goals. All right, Coach. Finals coming up. You got anything else for me? Nah, I got nothing. It's always good to see you, Zeb. Thanks. Hey, thanks for the time, Coach.